You know, I love fresh porcini. It just gives a risotto some nice earthiness and kind of meaty flavor. So to clean them, just use a dish towel and brush off all the dirt. If you want, you can also use a knife and scrape it off. Now the stems are a bit trickier. There's more dirt there, so just cut the ends and then with the paring knife, you can scrape off the dirt or even just give it a quick peel. That's it. Okay, mushrooms are clean. I'm just gonna give them a rough chop. They smell good, nice and earthy. Now I'm gonna start cooking them. A little bit of olive oil. Now here in Tuscany, whenever you buy mushrooms, they always give you some nipitella, fresh nipitella. It's an herb that grows wild in the Tuscan hills and it's a combination between mint and oregano. It just elevates a dish and gives kind of an earthy flavor also to the porcini. It's heating up now. In go the porcini. And now some salt. And just let those cook down, sweat out, and that's it. Okay, so now for my risotto, really basic. A white onion for a flavor base. You can use shallots or garlic. Okay. So my porcini are almost done. And you can see you start off with a big bunch of porcini and then you cook them down and you're left with very little. So I'm gonna put them aside. Now to start a risotto, a little bit of olive oil and in go the onions. We wanna cook the onion till it gets translucent. So I have some dried porcini, and these really give the risotto an incredible flavor and an intense smell. So just grab a handful, and now with my hands, I'm just gonna crumble this dried porcini right into the onions and the olive oil. Mix it around, and you can really smell that intense porcini flavor. Now I'm gonna add some white wine. That's gonna reduce and give an intense sweetness to it. And in goes the rice. And this is a arborio rice, which is just perfect for risottos. Mix that in. I want the rice to really suck up all that porcini flavor, the onions and the wine. And what I'm doing is I'm almost toasting the rice right inside the pan till it becomes translucent. And now I'm gonna add some vegetable broth. and you just put a little at a time, and once your broth has been reduced, just add a little more. And you can see all the starch that is coming out of the rice, and that's the beginning of the risotto process. And that's what risotto is all about. A little liquid at a time, you stir it, creaminess comes out, and then a little more. The risottos take about 16 to 18 minutes to cook. I like it to have a little bit of bite on the al dente side, which is about 16 minutes. And at this point, we add in all our porcini. and just gently stir in the porcini. Our risotto's done. I'm gonna remove it from the heat and add some parmigiano. And now a little hit of nipitella. So at this point, I would usually add a little bit of butter just to kind of give it some silkiness, but I'm gonna add a little bit of nipitella ice cream. And that's it. We'll put the ice cream on at the table and we'll shock everyone.